Okay, I lied about quitting YouTube in my last video. Mm, I said that I won't be uploading videos for one year, but you know, I decided that since I had some time in hand, why not record a video? Because it's been some time, right? Since I actually made a Linux video. And this is going to be my 70th video. So that's going to break that golden number that is 69 number of videos on my channel. But yeah, so be it. We're going to explore the changes I have made to my desktop. Now, you remember uh, in one of my videos, which is like I uploaded it seven months ago or something like that. Hold on, let me just go ahead. Right. So I switched to Wayland. I was using Sway Window Manager. Was it Sway? Yes, I was using Sway Window Manager that time, but now I have switched to another window manager. I'm still using VLAN though and I'm just going to open a terminal and I'll let you guess which window manager I am using. So you saw that animation right there? Yes, I am using the Hyperland window manager. Also, um, I think I was using Arch when I show when I recorded this video, but now I have Yes, I have hopped this through again and I'm now currently I'm on Arco Linux. And I'm gonna be honest, Arco has been very good for me. Like it's it's basically, uh, it's I won't call it stock arch because it comes with many preloaded things, but it's basically a tweaked version of arch without the installation hassle so it's a really very good distribution and i was wanting to try it out for a long time but i just i, I don't know i just kept ignoring this distro uh, but honestly yeah, i now have no excuse to stop using this because it's incredible also um, <clears throat> so when i uh, installed arco linux they had they gave, they, gave, they give you the option to uh, via the GUI installer they give you the option to choose your window manager or in desktop environment and I chose Hyperland and I installed it from there so they had their they had their default configuration the default configuration that Arco Linux provides when you install Hyperland and they also provide a default what bar is this like way bar and all of that stuff but I changed it, so yes, this this does not this looks nothing like the stock Hyperland that Arco Linux ships with. I have made a couple of changes, and but uh, these things right here, you can see the icon when I increase my volume and all. All of these are all of these came with stock Arco Linux Hyperland. So I did not mess with those scripts. All I did was I just changed the bar. I changed the way uh, Rofi looks, and by the way, this is. Rofi and not Wofi. I think uh, this is a I don't know, like modified version of Rofi or something like that. Like they call it Rofi for Wayland. Not exactly sure. It's not Wofi, I know. Uh, Rofi for with Wayland. What was that? I, I, I just, I'm just not sure about that. But like I was having trouble installing Rofi. Uh, installing the stock Rofi in Hyperland so I had to install a modified version of Rofi so it was like let me see uh, Rofi doesn't show up in Wayland and like I found some I found a found some resources that led me to that modified version of Rofi hang on it, it's somewhere around here and yep 
Yes, this is what I was looking for. The Rofi L Bond Wayland Git package. So, in case, uh, so essentially what you would do to install Rofi is paru hyphen s Rofi, I guess, and that would uh, install Rofi. But I want to let you know that Rofi did not, the stock Rofi, the default Rofi, did not work for me in Hyperland. What I had to do was grab this package called this Elbon Rofi package or, some, or something like that. Elbon Rofi or Elbon Rofi Elbon Rofi AUR. Uh, so that's right. I had to grab this right here, L1 Rofi Wayland. So control C. You would basically install it like this and then use it like, and then use it the way you would use Rofi. So to launch Rofi, you would do Rofi and then Rofi hyphen D menu or something like that. Rofi hyphen show D menu. I don't know, but it's just. Uh, hang on. Hmm. Rofi. My bad. Show D run. And there you go. Just like that. And then you can basically modify your Rofi config file the way you would want to. So cd.config ls cd Rofi. I'm just gonna quickly show you my config file. Code dot right. So that right there opens this up, and I copied it from someone's GitHub profile, so that's why it's written Z's Rofi config and I modified it, so yeah. So yes, this is my Rofi config file, nothing special really, I'll just, in fact, I was thinking about creating a GitHub repo where I would just share my config files with you guys. So I might be looking forward to that. Uh, what are your, what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comment section below and forgive my horrible English right there. Right, so that was my Rofi and this bar right here is way bar. So, but the problem is if once I kill it, I will have to restart uh, the, my window manager to launch it back again because I don't know, like uh, Hyperland is kind of glitchy and it's just, it, it, I mean, if I kill Waybar and if I try to launch it again, it will indeed launch, but with some errors, like some, like not with the default config file. So if I were to do this and do this back again, you can see it launches with uh, that configuration file. With another configuration file so for the time being i'm just gonna you know what i just in, in, now that i have killed my way bar let, let it be like that uh, yes it feels minimalistic like i can a lot a lot more space to these windows anyways so basically you guys saw the, all of what was to it there's nothing special in way bar really everyone customizes their own bar according to their needs and what else do i have to what else, what else do i want to show you guys like I did change the wallpaper by the way this is talk not talk this is destiny from destiny from the anime talk to destiny and yes I have recently been watching a lot of anime and you can tell me and you can call me an arch linux weeb now not arch linux this is arco linux so an arco linux weeb does that sound good anyways arco is also based on arch so yes now, this is something else I want to show you guys. Uh, yes, there is. I have been writing a lot of C++ code lately. Uh, I got code dot. So this right here is one folder where I wrote some code, and there's many folders with C++ with just C++ files and code. Uh, let me show you guys. Let me run this and show you guys something. So, let's go and G plus plus Pascal strangle dot forward slash dot out, and there you go. You have Pascal strangle. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> uh, 
uh, yep that's all that there is that's all that there is to it and now what's this a lindrome I don't even know what this does G plus plus Palindrome dot forward slash dot out. What? I don't know, dude. <laughs> longest common prefix. Let me see this G plus plus longest common prefix. And I don't know what of words you want to enter. Let's say four. Mm, Asif. Uh, Yes. Now we're gonna. What else should we do? Hmm. Uh, let's just go ahead and write this. Linux Arch. The longest common prefix is. There's no longest common prefix because all of these, all of these words, they have nothing in common. If I did something like, if I were to enter two words. Um, hi and H I G H. Hi, the longest common prefix is hi. Uh, yeah, so that's what that does, right? And there's some other stuff. I'm not gonna go into it. Let me show you some other cool stuff. So this CD. Mm, what's that? CD. What was that? C plus plus. Yep. I have a lot of stuff in here as you can see we have a lot of C++ files all of this I was just I was just enhancing my C++ skills uh, so that maybe I can get a job one day when I go when I get enrolled in college maybe I'll get placed at a good company so yep I'm just trying to enhance my C++ skills from now on once I pass high school I'll get into a college and I'll write code and I'll earn money and <laughs> Okay, uh, let's, let me just snap out of it. That was, just a, that was just a joke. I mean, not a joke. I'll obviously want to go to college and then get placed at a good company and earn money. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's none of my concern right now. Uh, as of right now, I'm just making a video and I should concentrate on that, I feel like. What else do I show you guys? Like, uh, I've shown everything. And honestly, there's nothing much I can show there's nothing much that is worth showing to you guys like what else do i show you i have this i have my file manager and it has that icon theme that stock hyperland r colon x ships with i did not even bother to change it it's not that i hate the look of it but i i don't like it and my, i might change it with something more like uh, papyrus or something like that i just don't know and sure uh, what else do I? Oh yes, and I do have. For some of you who are wondering, why do I have two terminal emulators installed? The reason is because Kitty was installed by default, and Alacrity is something which I use. So through Kitty, I did paru-s Alacrity and install Alacrity, and then I never bothered to delete Kitty. That's it. That's just out. That's just sheer laziness and nothing else. And there's Minecraft and yes I also have two file managers I have Thunar and I have Nemo I know some of you guys will be cussing me out <laughs> but it's just like me I am too lazy to get rid of the duplicate stuff I mean there's always it's always good to have a backup right like you never know when one of my terminal emulators might go nuts and it just won't stop working or one of my file managers might go nuts and it might stop working so it's always good to have another application that does the same thing installed on your PC of course that was that was a very lame attempt to excuse for my laziness and I know that and yes oh and by the way this right here this is not original this is not the original Minecraft launcher because who cares I just play offline Minecraft and why should I pay for it uh, it's basically a scale launcher. Uh, let me show you. I do not even know like what title should I put because, because 
<laughs> in all honesty like what am i doing i'm doing everything um, i first i showed you my desktop then i showed you some some of my c++ files and here i am showing you my crack minecraft launcher uh, then i showed you my then i talked about the wallpaper and the fact that i got that i that i'm watching anime these days so i don't even know what title should i put like I just go and quit out of that. Ah, so we now have. Uh, let's talk about this. We now have 578 subscribers. Can we make it to 600 subscribers by the end of April? Come on, guys, do it. I know you can. And yeah, that's it. Like, come on, take me to a total of 150,000 views, and take me to 560 subscribers. And I'm gonna break the golden number once I upload this video, which I'm recording right now. By the way, the recording that I'm using is WF Recorder, which is a very good command line utility to record videos in Wayland. Uh, but that's it. Now I'm going to stop this recording right here. It's been a 16 minute video. Um, yes, goodbye, guys. I hope you have a nice day. Love you all. Bye. Keep using Linux. Keep supporting free and open source and bye for now.